A recent study brought about an astounding fact demonstrating that the gut microbiome can affect human health in various ways, particularly gut flora's potential role in Alzheimer's disease. Researchers were able to show that there's a clear genetic link between the two. This new information has contributed to expanding our knowledge of Alzheimer's disease, proving that new treatments may be in sight. Let's dive into new research from Australia that suggests that the gut-brain access may play a role in the development of neurodegenerative diseases. Let's see what this groundbreaking breakthrough is all about. A study examining the risk gene for Alzheimer's suggests a potentially reversible process. This study is the first of its kind to do a thorough genetic analysis of the link between Alzheimer's disease and several gastrointestinal problems. During their research, scientists looked at genetic data from genome-wide studies on Alzheimer's and gut diseases. Each of these studies included more than 400,000 individuals. Data also suggests a genetic overlap, which provides insight into potential shared causes but does not prove that one causes the other. According to the study, cholesterol appeared to play a role in the metabolic pathways that were substantially enriched for genes associated with both illnesses. How does this affect us? Alzheimer's disease is the most common form of dementia, shown through a steady decline in cognitive function and the formation of amyloid beta, A, plaques, and neurofibrillary tangles. Disturbances along the brain-gut microbiota access may significantly influence the pathogenesis of neurodegenerative illnesses, such as Alzheimer's. Changes in the gut microbiota make the gut barrier more absorbent and the immune system more active, which leads to inflammation throughout the body. Systemic inflammation may then compromise the blood-brain barrier, promoting neuroinflammation, neural injury, and neurodegeneration. Dr. Emmanuel Adewui, the lead researcher, says, looking at the genetic and biological characteristics common to Alzheimer's disease and these gut disorders suggest a strong role for lipid metabolism, the immune system, and medications that lower cholesterol. He further added, although additional research into the shared processes between illnesses is required, there is evidence that elevated cholesterol can transfer into the central nervous system which can result in aberrant cholesterol metabolism in the brain. Let's talk about Helicobacter pylori. Helicobacter pylorus is a microbe. These germs can enter your body and live in your digestive tract. How exactly does this harm your body? Well, they can cause ulcers in the lining of your stomach or the upper part of your small intestine after many years. These infections can cause stomach cancer in some individuals. Helicobacter pylori infections are common and present in approximately two-thirds of the world's population. Dr. Adewui suggests that abnormal blood lipids may be caused by or made worse by this form of gut bacteria, all of which support the possible role of abnormal lipids in Alzheimer's disease and gut problems. Presently, no medicine will cure or reverse Alzheimer's disease. The estimate is that currently approximately 55 million people in the world are living with this illness and that number is anticipated to rise as the world population ages. One question remains. Is cholesterol a critical component? Scientists have done more research on the DNA of Alzheimer's and found a critical link between Alzheimer's disease and gut diseases and cholesterol. Dr. Adewui says that research has shown that having too much cholesterol is a risk factor for Alzheimer's disease and gut problems. He further stated, looking at the genetic and molecular traits common to AD and various gastrointestinal illnesses shows a substantial involvement of lipid metabolism, the immune system, and drugs that lower cholesterol. High cholesterol is linked to memory loss and can eventually lead to aging in the brain. It is worth noting that anti-inflammatory and lipid homeostasis medicines could treat Alzheimer's disease. Statins, a cholesterol-lowering drug, may be effective in treating both illnesses. Early detection helps. CEO of the Functional Wellness Network, Dr. Monsi Shah, thinks that the study found that those with gastrointestinal problems are more likely to get Alzheimer's, and both illnesses have similar genetic risk factors. 
Even though the results do not prove that Alzheimer's disease and gastrointestinal issues will always co-occur, they suggest a potential shared biology. The author's conclusion says, because of this, studying decreased cognition in GIT diseases may help with early diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. Due to their knowledge of this genetic link, doctors may be more likely to look for Alzheimer's in patients with gut issues and memory loss. Let's see what's there for the future. Cholesterols linked to the illness could prove important in the future treatment of Alzheimer's disease. While there is no known cure, the study's findings suggest that cholesterol-lowering medications, or statins, could be therapeutically beneficial in treating both Alzheimer's disease and gut disorders. There is evidence that statins could help reduce inflammation, change the immune system, and protect the gut. But more research needs to be done, and each patient should be looked at individually to see if they would benefit from taking a statin. The study's results suggest that diet may help treat and prevent Alzheimer's disease and gut disorders. The Center for Precision Health's director said that the study did not prove that gut problems cause Alzheimer's or that Alzheimer's disease causes gut problems. However, he did say that the study results are helpful. These findings provide additional evidence to support the concept of the gut-brain access, a two-way link between the brain's cognitive and emotional centers and intestinal function, Professor Laws says. In his final statement, Dr. Adewui says that the study shows that more research will allow the illness to be detected earlier and help find new treatments for both types of problems. Bacteria can be beneficial or harmful. It's important to maintain a healthy amount of good and bad bacteria. Do you wish to learn more about the microbiome? Let's keep the conversation going. Here's what you need to know. Check out the 19 best foods to improve gut health and digestion, or prevent Alzheimer's and dementia by eating these 21 foods that may improve memory. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about how to protect your gut health. What do you think of these recent findings? Let us know in the comments below.